each and one again in the magic name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, our Superman King. Certainly we are thankful to the Lord for these three days that we've been here and we have enjoyed it all. And then we are just giving praise, thankful to each and everyone that has come to be a part of this service. Amen. I see the whole truth is here with those two days. And I don't think y'all saw it. Do y'all want to say it? <laughs> All right. We just didn't want to slight nobody. We want to make sure everybody enjoyed it all. We are thankful to our Hallelujah. And then in the St. from Connecticut. Really thankful for them being in our midst. And as uh, Sister Red Song, I pray that we all be ready. And, uh, it's a good song. I pray that we all be ready. And the Lord come. We want to thank the Lord for those that have come with us from North Carolina. And I just want to say this. I thank the Lord for them and their labor, and their help. I, you may not think that I don't have compassion on them, but I do. And I thank God when they're down there in that hot kitchen, trying to fix it. Don't come to church and I just don't preach. I believe in laboring, and I believe in working. I believe in traveling. I do everything that's got to do to make the work of the Lord go on. Amen. And I thank God for that. And uh, we thank God. We thank God for those that they went out there in the kitchen. And I thank God for the help. My beloved child and his grandchildren come later. Most of them here is in Mount Vernon, and I pray that the Lord will have them to come and be in this church and, and be a part of it. This is my oldest daughter, Valerie. And then the next one is my youngest daughter, Brian. And I, the oldest boy is Timothy. And the baby boy is Chris. <laughs> all right. Now I want all the grandchildren to come. Thank God. And great grandchildren. Oh, look at him now, because I ain't going to do this every time. <laughs> you look at him. Now, that's our daughter. That's our son, the oldest girl. Amen. And that's my daughter, and that's my the son. And I think this is the great grandmother. Well, thank the Lord. I thank most of my children have been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And to have the Holy Ghost and, and to need to get it. And I pray that they be ready to go back to the Lord. And I pray that they have a mind to want to be saved. To be saved. Because without that, <clears throat> Without God, when you go in that grave, it's going to be a terrible day. Mm -hmm. I think two of them were born in, in three, yeah, three of them were born in New York, and one, the baby boy, was born in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. uh, Y'all got your picture? Uh -huh. Alright. Go to work. Thank you. Uh, we thank God for that, but the most important thing, as you said this morning, is to be saved. Amen. Amen. I looked at the Willis family and uh, I remember when they were their step coming up. I think just about most of all of them are saved, man. 
That's all right. No, the joy of it, I know, because I, I've had two of them. I'll get surprised every time I come here. One is playing. You know, they're playing, so that's a blessing. Amen. Uh, and y'all should be proud of your children. You see it up in the church and sing and play. And one is playing. I didn't think she would never do anything. She was so shy. She was so shy. But then she was playing all over the place. Stand up, baby. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, oh, ask me the name because I can't think. Well, I call him Willis, too. <laughs> Willis number one. Willis number two. <laughs> so we thank God for that, for this, and uh, we're thanking God for all the elders and Mr. Crooks. We've been reading. We've been talking the whole time. Uh, we walked in today and I told him to park the front trying to come back home. But he told me a lot of things that been going. And I want to announce this now so everybody knows. We're not here all the time. It's impossible for us to be all the time. But we're trying to bring in help. Every third set. I shouldn't have to keep telling this. And what I'm going to do when I get back home, I'm going to get all the phone numbers of all the preachers supposed to be in charge of coming here every third Saturday to help this work. So those that are in the neighborhood, we ask you to come out and help support, amen, the third Saturday of each month. It may not always be because things come up and things happen. We have a lot of death in this church. And some of you I'm learning that day that you say you didn't even know anything about it, that they were buried. And I don't understand that. Brother Davis was buried. And then Brother Vincent was done die and buried. And uh, we need to make sure that we call one another. Nobody ain't gonna call you every third Saturday. That's your job to be here. But I'm gonna give you the numbers. Well, there'll be no excuse. We need to support the work as much as possible. And we need to keep these doors. We're learning a lady just over the street there yesterday, this morning, come by here and say, are y'all going to keep the doors open every Sunday? And the doors need to be open every Sunday. Amen. If we can't be here, it's a different story. But the doors need to be open. If I was here, it would be impossible for these doors not to be open. Yeah. They need to be open. Everybody that's a member of the church can be in front and be in the service and keep the doors open so that the people, you may not get a packed church, but if you get one every now and then, that's a blessing. Yeah. But if you can show somebody you going in and coming out, it's going to put an effect on them. So I'm going to send the numbers. This is all I'm going to send them to the group. And, and I'm going to tell all those ones who are in charge for the third Saturday of every month to make sure that you text somebody or you call somebody or you know. And then when other people have service, let me tell you all something. You have to support them for them to come to you. You can't have people come to you and you're not going to go back to them. This ain't no one-sided thing. It's got to be a two-sided thing. You got to go with you. I go all the time, all over, everywhere. And this is what we got to do. When our service is being supported, you need to get preachers number, put them in your book, in your phone, and keep these doors open. Call them. Let them come into you and have service. They will come. And also you go to them, and they have service. We need to take time for God. Everything else is in in not going to mean nothing to the end. I don't care how good the job you got. If you think they can't do without you, you keep doing <laughs> Amen. Are you listening? Amen. If you go in here, you're going to get somebody else to do their job. That's right. Mm. Nobody is important in here. They know I got a job they can't do without me. You're going to get that out of your head. That's right. So they can do it without me. They sure can. Not, somebody else can get that job. Mm -hmm. Somebody can do just as much as you can do. Mm -hmm. Same thing. But we need to keep these doors open. And we need them when there's a chance to get them 
We're going to try to see what we can do. We talk to the large. They do air conditioning and uh, they're going to come back and assess this there to see what they're going to charge us to try to put an air conditioner in here. And I got to do something for the system downstairs that made it in the hot kitchen. It's hot down there. And I looked at them and somebody would say, well, they ought to cut all that food out, couldn't you? But I tell you what, you cut it out and I guarantee you they ain't coming to see you either. <laughs> That's what people say. People say, well, we cook too much and we just cook too much. It ain't not about a bad job. If we all get together and support, support one another like we ought to do, it would go easier. It would go a whole lot easier if we would do what we ought to do and, and help one another. Everybody get in there and do something. And, uh, it'll make it easy, but you put it all on one person, yes, it's going to be hard. But we all need to work together. That's all we know. You see, we got a service. This service has been planned on the calendar all year. But we're going to be here for the fellowship service in June. 